Remember the smell of apples and the sweet pungent twang of fresh pressed cider? Imagine families out picking apples and taking them home to make apple pie and apple butter. All of these things remind us of the good old days. Back at the turn of the century, as homesteaders and farmers started to move into the rolling mountains of New Mexico in the southeast, they found that they could grow apples very well, and they started growing more and more and more apples until they needed processing and storage sheds and barns to house them. This is the story of the last surviving active apple barn in those mountains. Real development in the area really started with the railroad, the cloud climbing railroad. It was built to bring logs down from the upper mountains above Cloudcroft. But there was another opportunity. They found that people wanted to get out of that heat. They wanted to get up into the mountains and so they put on excursion cars and built the lodge. It was quite a booming business. People would go to the Cloudcroft station, a beautiful old thing, and they could take excursions from Cloudcroft all the way to El Paso and back for a mere $3. The railroad provided a great opportunity to put in real shipping for apples, and so seven growers in the area in High Rolls and Mountain Park built a apple shed and processing plant for a government grant of $3,000. A sidetrack went along the front. There were big freight doors. They'd load tons and tons of apples to distribute throughout the area. It became the largest apple growing area west of the Mississippi, and of course, until Washington State and Oregon took on. <laughs> Today, you can enter through these same historic freight doors and step back into simpler times. 3,000 square feet of the bottom floor are open to the public. You know, the store started out pretty simple, and it grew over time and got more and more and more complex. You can see there's a lot do at the old apple barn. People can sit out on a 70-foot deck with fantastic mountain views, sip and munch cherry cider and pistachios. We've even added a vintage train to harken back to the Cloudcroft Railroad. Also, a huge project was to harken back to the old Route 66 destination stops by adding Apple Boy. Apple Boy was carved right in the old apple barn and taken apart and put together in three sections. It's been lovingly aged so that it looks like it's been there since 1941 and the changes keep on coming because people love that simpler time when it was the good old days. And you know what? Today is the good old days. Mm -hmm.